Hi, I'm Patrick, and today we are checking out Lightyear at CES 2023. I'm super excited by this car, so let's go. Okay, so this is Jasper. He works with Lightyear, and he's gonna tell us about this one behind us, the Lightyear Zero, and we'll talk briefly about Lightyear 2 as well. So, you definitely will. so this, this car, one of the things that's really cool about this is it's solar and has a huge range. Tell us it does. the goals and, and what you guys achieved already. So yeah, definitely, like, uh, we like to call this the world's first solar car. It's the first solar car to, to go into, into mass production. What you see right here is actually car number one. This came out of production line at the end of last November. Uh, and we're very proud to have it here. We did the safety checks, we brought it to Vegas, and here it is. So in terms of the, the range, like uh, we like to think about the range as the range between two charging moments. Uh, and you can drive up to 620 miles before you have to plug in again. 620 yeah. miles, that's amazing. Definitely, yeah. It basically charges up to 49 miles a day on the, on the solar panels alone. Right. Uh, the battery range, if you top it fully, fully up, is 383 miles. Uh, but then every day you can get up to 49 miles of, of clean and free solar energy. And can you charge it if you need to charge it, or is it strictly yeah, solar? Yeah, it's, uh, you can charge it uh, pretty much in any socket. It's uh, uh, DC charging fast speed in about an hour, okay. uh, but even on the, like, because the battery is quite, quite efficient, it has a 60 kilowatt hour, very energy dense uh, battery. You can literally plug it into your, your home socket and Lord right. knows your kitchen and it'll charge overnight. So it's basically like most other EVs, except it also has the solar panels that can give Definitely. you up to about 49 miles a day yeah. on a really good sunny day. On a good sunny day. In, uh, I mean, Vegas, you'll, you can probably even top that uh, yeah, in summer, but yeah, bet, 49 miles is a... Uh, now, the other thing is, is like, it's actually super efficient looking. And I noticed down here, they have this stat. I don't know if we're gonna catch this, but, oh no, it's actually right here. Yeah. 169 watt hours per wow. mile. Now I know, uh, and our we have a Mustang Mach-E, yeah. so I think we're doing like on a road trip from California out here, we're close to like 400 watt hours per mile. Yeah. So this is super efficient. It is the, the most energy efficient production car on the planet right now. Yeah. yeah. So that's definitely yeah. something we're super proud of. And actually like, you know, what, a couple of reasons for that. I mean, one's obvious, but it's super aerodynamic. So it's also the, the world's most aerodynamic production car. It has a CD value of 0.175. Uh, so that, that, that reduces the, the drag a lot. But also because the car drops itself off with solar panels, uh, we could make it quite lightweight. Like I said before, the battery is 60 kilowatt hours, right. uh, which brings the total weight of the car to uh, 3,500 uh, pounds, which for an electric car is, is extremely it's, it's light. It's relatively light, yeah. yeah. It's built out of reclaimed carbon fiber, so to keep the car lightweight, and then you get into kind of this sort of positive reinforcement loop where, yeah, because the car is lightweight, uh, it'll go further on the, uh, on, on the joule of energy, so we can keep the battery smaller, which makes it lighter again, which means the energy you get from the solar panels will get you even further. Yeah, it's almost like a catch-22 the other way. Like it totally is. Yeah. yeah, but it's, uh, it's actually a good catch-22. It's like you, you make things lighter, you, you get better range, you get better range, you need less battery, which also makes it lighter. It's just, it all works together. That's really cool. Exactly, yeah. So, and, and you said this is the, the first production one. It is, uh, yeah. What are, you know, and we just crossed it into 2023. So what's going on in 2023? Like, what are the production goals? And I believe I see a light year two wait list over yeah, there. So definitely. can you tell us about that? So that's, yeah, that's very exciting time for us. Like I said, we, we literally just started production of this car. So this car is quite a bespoke low volume series. Uh, we're selling, we're making manufacturing uh, maximum 946 cars. Uh, of light year zero and we kind of like to think of this as our like halo car to mm -hmm. show that it's possible and to show that we're the company that can do it not just design the car that can drive in the sun but build a car that can drive in the sun uh, but yeah like production right now is about one or two units a week it's being produced in, uh, in Finland by a vehicle contract manufacturer called Valmet Automotive they've previously made cars for uh, the likes of uh, Porsche, Mercedes-Benz and Saab back in the days and now they're, they're making our cars. Very cool. But also 2023 is definitely the year uh, that we're scaling our technology uh, to Lightyear 2. So Lightyear 2 will be our mass market vehicle. It'll employ a lot of the same technology that we have on, the, on Lightyear Zero. So it'll have uh, similar uh, um, solar- Solar panels. Panels on like, you know, the, uh, on, the, on the hood, sorry, on the roof and on the trunk. Um, it'll have the same in-wheel motor technology. 
I'm not sure we touched upon that, but uh, like you see, oh, no. uh, yeah, I, I did read that. So it has motors in each wheel, right? It does. Yeah, there's four motors, one in each wheel. Very yeah. cool. And that's kind of like we we developed the drivetrain to be as efficient as possible again to you know maximize the the range it, you get on the. Manual. Sounds like you know stuff like that. Like we we know there's other EVs out there that have like hub motors and they're four four motors per <laughs> pardon that uh, four motors but they're they're looking for maximum ho horsepower very yeah. quick your goal is to do that to provide efficiency and lightweight I'm assuming yeah like uh, we like to say uh, we want to make energy go further not faster uh, that's right. kind of like our, our tagline for this uh, so definitely like the I mean the car will it's an electric car so it, it, it has a decent acceleration it'll go from zero to 60 uh, in 10 seconds but we definitely like put the focus on, on sustainability yeah. and making sure that we build uh, the world's most energy efficient car. Yeah. That's that's super awesome. I think it looks actually very sleek, very cool. We'll uh, have to take a look at some of these solar panels. Now, you have solar panels, front, roof, and all the way back here. Now, this is the part that I think is sort of interesting. So. How is how is visibility like? Do you see out the back window or no? Uh, so I mean, because it's a solar panel, it's completely blacked out. Okay. But actually, if you uh, look right here, we have a um, so I mean, of course a parking camera. You know, pretty standard. But right here, I'm not sure if you can see it very well on the camera, but there's a camera hidden here that's actually the rear view mirror. So oh, make sure okay. that there's a there's a camera there's a display instead of your rear view mirror, so you can still you know park without a. Uh, Causing them. Yeah, I'm sure it takes a little while to get used to, but I can see. It probably does, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. just like our regular backup camera. I got used to that and I exactly. depended yeah. on that. Yeah. So, and very like cool. In total, the, the solar panel surface is uh, 54 square feet. There's 782 solar cells hidden in, uh, in this car. Not hidden, I mean, they're in plain sight. But... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's actually like from far away, you can't really tell, but when you get up close, you can see the individual cells. So. Yeah. Um, but I think it overall like looks like a really good, nice, sleek design. Um, and I'm interested in seeing how they drive. So, I mean, yeah. how will that work? Are you guys going to be like could test drives? Test drives for for light year zero. Um, yeah, right now the car is only um, we're selling it in the EU, so it's homologated sure. for for road use in the EU. Mm -hmm. So we are doing test drives within in Europe in our headquarters in the Netherlands. Yeah, uh, and for light year zero, light year two, we'll bring it to the to the US and beyond as well. So we'll definitely uh, a lot cool. more test drives in, the, in due time. Yeah. Now, with this efficiency and the, the you know estimated range of this, are you guys you know going to do any like world records or like shoot for any like efficiency <laughs> race across America, for example? Or it's all within the in the realm of possibilities. We don't have any any plans of this sort as of yet. Yeah. I mean, we already have the world record for the most aerodynamic uh, yeah. production car and the most energy efficient production car. Uh, so, but like yeah, like a solar race with this car would be super cool. And we mentioned that the Light Year 2 is coming. There is a wait list. We'll put a link down below if anybody wants to check that out. Thanks for that. What, what's the price range of the Light Wave 2 in the U.S. going to be? Uh, it's going to start uh, below $40,000. Below $40,000. That's, That's amazing. Uh, the pleasure we're making right now. So like Light Year 2, there's a, it will reveal the full specs and, uh, and all the details on the car later. But right now, there's just five promises we're making. One of them is that it's going to be you know, accessibly priced, so below $40,000. Uh, that the average U.S. driver can can experience about 50% um, of the time driving solar energy. Uh, that the car will will have a range of over 500 miles between two charging moments, mm -hmm. um, and that you'll charge about three times less compared to a conventional EV. That's awesome. Yeah. That sounds exciting. Like and, yeah. and the price tag, I was expecting 60, 70, but 40 is sounding pretty uh, uh, pretty interesting. Yeah. And to join the waitlist, is there a cost or is it? Just join the waitlist. Join the waitlist is free. Yeah, like join we will open pre-orders later in the year. Okay. So we'll do that. Like I said, the full reveal, including all specs and uh, the variants and etc., uh, will come before the end of 2023, and then we'll take pre-orders, which will be paid. Uh, but the waitlist is for free. However, if you do join, you already get a number in line, okay. and that number will be converted to your pre-order number, so you will get the delivery before the before anybody else. So there's no reason yeah. not to join the wait list. Well, I'd say so. Maybe okay. Yeah. Any words in my I might mind, do that. I might yeah. do that. All right. Definitely. Well, thank you so much. This is really cool. Uh, one of the things I was looking forward to seeing at CES is I knew Lightyear was going to be here, so I'm glad we were able to stop by. Yeah. Super right. great having you. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot.